Hello friends, in this video lecture, we will see TCP IP protocol suite. Under that, we are having TCP IP reference model. So this is diagram of TCP IP reference model. This TCP IP protocol suite was developed prior to OSI reference model. And it has four layers. You can see host network layer which is bottom most layer then internet layer transport layer and application layer in some of the books you may see there are five layers associated with tcp ip protocol suit means host to network layer which is bottom most layer comprises data link layer and the physical layer but broadly the tcp ip protocol suit is having these four layers host to network layer internet layer transport layer and application layer here we can see that tcp ip reference model and osi reference model in tcp ip reference model there is application layer and in osi reference model there is application layer presentation layer and session layer means responsibilities of application layer presentation layer and session layer in osi reference model is performed by only application layer in tcp ip reference model transport layer is same in both the model in tcp ip reference model there is an internet layer and we have network layer in osi reference model in tcp ip reference model there is host to network layer and in osi reference model there is a data link layer and the physical layer here layers in tcp ip reference model deals with number of protocols if you see application layer it has simple mail transfer protocol that is smtp ftp that is file transfer protocol tftp that is trivial file transfer protocol http that is hypertext transfer protocol dns that is domain name system snmp that is simple network management protocol and telnet transport layer has three protocols tcp is the most important protocol in transport layer followed by udp tcp stands for transmission control protocol udp stands for user datagram protocol and third protocol is sctp that is stream control transmission protocol internet layer has protocols like ip stands for internet protocol icmp that is internet control message protocol then igmp stands for internet group management protocol rarp and arp erp stands for address resolution protocol and rarp stands for reverse address resolution protocol and host to network layer has protocols defined by underlying networks as far as the host to network layer is concerned that is physical layer and data link layer in this layer tcp does not define any specific protocol so it supports all the standard and proprietary protocols network layer supports ip that is internet protocol utilizes four supporting protocols such as address resolution protocol reverse address resolution protocol internet control message protocol and internet group management protocol what is the purpose of address resolution protocol it is used to associate a logical address with physical address means if internet address is known in that case we can find physical address of the node using ARP that is address resolution protocol then reverse address resolution protocol is there it allows a host discover internet address that is IP address which is also known as logical address when only physical address is known here you can see physical address is known and with the help of reverse address resolution protocol we can find logical address and it is used when first time or when a distless computer is booted then internet control message protocol 
is there. So ICMP is a mechanism used by host and gateways to send notification of datagram problems back to the sender and it sends query and error reporting messages. Internet group management protocol. This protocol is used to facilitate the simultaneous transmission of message to a group of recipients. Next layer is the transport layer. Supports transmission control protocol, user datagram protocol, stream control transmission protocol, and stream control transmission protocol. Here TCP and UDP are responsible for delivery of message from process that is running program on one computer to running program on another computer that is on another system. UDP is the simpler protocol. It is process to process protocol that adds only port addresses, checksum, error control and length information to the data from the upper layer and transmission control protocol provides full transport layer services to applications. It is reliable stream transfer protocol which is also known as connection oriented protocol. The meaning of connection oriented is that connection must be established between both end of transmission before or either transmit data. Means first there will be connection establishment. After establishing connection, there is a data transfer. And after transferring data, there is connection termination. At sending end of each transmission, TCP divides a stream of data into smaller units and those smaller units are known as segments and each segment includes a sequence number for reordering after receipt together with an acknowledgement number for the segment received. Segments are carried across internet inside IP datagram and at the receiving end TCP collects each datagram as it comes in and reorders transmission based on the sequence number so that is on the receiver side then stream control transmission protocol is there which provides support for newer applications such as voice over the internet it combines best features of udp and tcp then application layer is having hypertext transfer protocol, file transfer protocol, trivial file transfer protocol, simple mail transfer protocol, simple network management protocol, and domain name system. So, whatever the protocols we have seen here will be covered in the upcoming video lectures in more details. Thank you for watching. Stay connected here for more videos.